Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Covering both sides of the big issues with the analysis you trust on News Radio 1040 WHO. Well, as persistent inflation strains your family's budget during these holidays, another shortage is threatening to compound the problem. A major diesel supplier is warning of a shortage and, at the very least, a lot higher prices. Here is the uh, fourth-generation oil and gas professional, Jay Young, on my Newsmaker line to talk it over with me. Jay, welcome back to Iowa Radio. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Jeff. How you doing again? Good, good to hear from you. Good to hear from you. So what's the nature of this threat? Is, do we seriously think, Jay, that there might be a diesel shortage on the way? Well, there is. I mean, yes and no. All right? I mean, yes, yes, there's a diesel shortage. We need to be drilling for oil in the United States, which we're not doing. No support for that. But I, I don't think it's going to go where, uh, you know, we have a we have a definite – you know, we're out of the business type deal where we're, where, you know, it, it's gone or something. We're not we're not survival mode, but it is going to get higher until until the government until. And I say that I'm not trying to blame the government or whatever, but I'm just saying we need more support for drilling in the United States. And we need this oil. And this is a prime example of another commodity that we need, like oil, that that we put policies in place that have helped have hurt us not help have hurt us from from you know from from manufacturing or producing this oil that helps diesel and it's I mean either producing it in the United States by drilling or the Keystone pipeline uh, would have definitely helped us getting that oil out of Canada which is the, the oil needed to manufacture diesel or refined diesel I should say you know we we uh, OPEC has cut us by two million barrels. You know we're hopefully done with the strategic reserve siphoning that we've been doing there. You know so we're going to need oil really really bad, and we're not we don't have it like we should. And there is it's going to be a problem because I mean this country runs on diesel fuel. Well, and that's it, Jay. I mean the, from what you're saying, I don't see the solution to the problem in sight. I mean, uh, so even if the Biden administration allowed more drilling, let's let's go to that, Jay. Um, how long could we get ramped up and actually get prices and supply under control? Yeah, good good question, Jeff. And I tell you, I don't know. I don't. It would take a long time. It, it's not overnight, right? Because you have to get. We have the prospects. The oil's there. Just like when 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 Biden was over at um, over Saudi Arabia, they were he was like, "Hey, well, we need." We need some of your oil, and I'm sure they were looking at us like, well, don't you have oil over there in the United States? Why aren't you drilling there? You know, why are you coming over here to beg for it? Um, but we do have it here. But we don't have the capital necessary. We need the support of our federal government, state government. The institutions are going to have to loosen up with their money, which, you know, they're private, so it's kind of hard for us just to go to them and go, hey, yeah, well, why don't you guys just start giving this money to to – the private sector or public companies to drill for more oil and gas, that, that's not going to happen. They don't care. They, they're they a private company, you know, so they're going to keep their money. During the pandemic, they lost a lot of money during the pandemic when prices went negative. So they're not interested. And there's a lot of people on the boards of these public companies that, okay, well, we'll increase it a, we'll increase it a little bit, but not too much, you know. So it's it, – I mean, the, the odds of, it, of them saying yes is pretty tough, yeah. number one. But, but number two, if they did, if they did, there's still a lot of, of uh, roadblocks that, that we'd have to go through. But, Jay, let me play devil's advocate, because even just before the election, the president came out again, and he said, look at these profits that the oil companies are, are reporting. They're gouging you guys. That's why this is happening. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, I... I agree with one thing that, that, that our president said with that, okay? And mm-hmm. what I do agree with him, he doesn't know how to say it. You know, I don't, I don't know, but he doesn't know how to say it. But what he does, he does is he's exactly right. You know, these companies don't need to make hundreds of billions of dollars or billions of dollars or whatever and, and not put it back in the ground. Yeah. We need to be putting it back in the ground to drill for oil and gas because every time that we've had 
a cycle like this. And, you know, and I'm a fourth generation. I've been in this business for 40 years, yeah. you know, blah, 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 blah. Every cycle sees it to where, and I also write about it in my book, Upside of Oil and Gas Investing. But, but you know, every time during the cycle, we see that, that when companies are making billions and billions of dollars, they go back to drilling for oil and gas. They're not doing it this time. They're, they're, they're you know, buying back their stock or they're putting out dividends and blah, 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 blah. They're not doing it. So, man, it's like crazy. And they if they don't drill for oil and gas, which if they drill for oil and gas, oversupply the demand, prices come down. They're not doing it this time. Yeah. So if, it's a, it's an extended problem. He's a fourth-generation oil and gas professional. His name's Jay Young. Jay, I really appreciate you weighing in on this. 